In this video, I'm going to cover using Ubermenu 3 with Thesis 2. So I have a fresh install here of Thesis 2.1.9 and Ubermenu 3.1.1. Uh, now, unfortunately, Thesis doesn't actually support theme locations when it uses it when it uh, creates its menus. So we can't just use Ubermenu automatic integration. Uh, if you go to the Ubermenu settings, you'll see that there aren't any theme locations available. Uh, this is pretty rare for a theme, but uh, that's the way Thesis does it because of its box system. So what I've done is written a custom box for Ubermenu which you can add to your Thesis installation and then drag and drop into your Thesis layouts. Uh, so if you go to the Ubermenu knowledge base and search for Thesis or go to the um, Thesis guide under the theme integration section, you'll see that there's a link here we can download a custom box. So we'll go ahead and download that. Then we'll go to the um, Thesis Manage Boxes, and we'll click Upload Box, and then the zip file that we just downloaded, uh, don't unzip the file, just keep it as a compressed zip, and uh, choose that file, it'll be called ubermenu 3 thesisboxzip and click Add Box. That's going to upload the zip file to Thesis, and Thesis will install it. Uh, click OK. And then after doing that, you also need to check this and then click Save Boxes. And that's actually going to uh, install the box so that Thesis will um, show you uh, that option in the skin editor. So then if we go over to the skin editor, um, oh, before we do this, I just want to show you in the Uber menu settings, uh, which is what this did, is we registered a theme location so you can actually use it called Uber menu thesis. Now, you don't have to worry about this because the box is going to use manual integration, which is going to uh, force Uber menu anyway. So, uh, you know, whether you have this checked or not won't matter, but you do now have a theme location that you can make use of, which makes using menus more flexible because you can filter them and swap them out and um, just using theme locations in general is a best practice, so it's nice to have that. All right, so over in the thesis skin editor, you'll see that by default, we have this nav menu box, and that's what's creating um, this menu on the front end. So now we can select to add a new box, and you'll see we have this option, Uber menu nav menu box. So I'm going to select that and click add box, and it'll show up right here. Now I hold shift and drag it over into this container, and uh, you'll see it's now in place. So now let's just see what we have right out of the box. Save the template and look at the front end. And you'll see we're getting this message, please assign a menu to the Uber menu thesis theme location. All right, so if we click on that, it'll bring us to the manage locations page and you'll see that there's no menu assigned here and, and that's why we're having an issue. So assign Uber menu demo and then refresh the page again and you'll see there's our uber menu and we're good to go so that's pretty much what it does straight out of the box if you for some reason you don't want to use the theme location um, so you can leave it like that and it'll give us this message however in the skin editor if we edit this box's settings you'll see that we can set the theme location. So say you wanted to register your own theme locations, those would also show up here and you could use those. Uh, maybe you want to have multiple uh, Uber menus that you added uh, so you have flexibility that way. But we can also choose a menu here instead of choosing a theme location if you want. So we can choose the Uber menu demo and we can also choose uh, the Uber menu configuration. So by default, you'll just have a main configuration, but if you add additional ones, like a vertical one or whatever configuration you create, they'll show up here so you can apply those to this menu. Um, so I click OK, resave the template, and now when I refresh, the menu that we chose as opposed to the theme location that we chose now shows up on the front. So the last thing that we really need to do is get rid of the uh, standard thesis menu because I'm assuming you want to replace that with Uber menu. Of course you don't have to, but assuming you want to get rid of this menu, we just go back to the skin editor and we'll shift drag this nav menu box uh, off of here. And once we save the template, we'll just be left with Uber menu as our menu. 
and the original menu will be deleted. So refresh that. And now we just have Uber menu as our menu. All right, so that's really all there is to it. Enjoy.